Hello. So we're dropping this stone off the roof. So that means our initial velocity is zero because we're just dropping it. So we use the height equation where h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus initial velocity times t plus the initial height. Well, since our initial velocity equals zero, we get h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus h sub zero. If we take the derivative of that, we get the velocity. So that's going to equal negative 32 t. We know the velocity when it hits the ground is negative 130. So negative 130 has to equal negative 32 t. We solve that for t, we get t is 4.0625 seconds. So it takes 4.025 seconds for the ball to hit the ground. Well, when the at ground level, the height is zero. So we're going to go back to this equation, and we're going to plug zero in for h of t. And that's going to equal negative, whoops, I didn't square that number, did I? We need to fix that. So it's not going to be negative 65. I lied. I got to do 4.0625 squared times 16. That's 264. Let's get rid of this here for a minute. So we get negative 264.0625 plus h sub 0 equals 0. So that means our initial height is 264.0625. Equals our initial height. So there you go. So that building is 264.0625. I don't know. 0 0.0625 times 12. Yeah. About 264 feet. So that's how, that's how you do that one.